know if I want to be accepted or advanced or promoted by God I'm gonna be worshiping him and speaking the word Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrut. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure that you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. What if I told you that Jesus isn't here, but that He sent another? Would you despise my ministry because I say that? But a lot of people do. But if it is true that he he isn't here and he sent another then should i not follow him the one that he sent yes. wouldn't that be pleasing to jesus i think it'd be displeasing to him if if you didn't follow the one that he sent mm -hmm. right Correct. Correct. so should i not follow him should i not submit myself to him yes. should i not follow his leadership should i not obey him mm -hmm. well our society here is not a location but a group of people connected by this message that the holy ghost is god in the earth today and we walk with him we know him as god and i've said this before if i worship the holy ghost what does that make me holy a holy ghost worshiper and frankly that's something that hasn't existed before but people are beginning to worship the holy ghost all over the earth say all over the earth. all over the earth is there new thinking that comes with acknowledging the holy ghost as god and worshiping him as god yeah. yeah well you have to have new thinking to even get there but there's new thinking that comes along with that how about new believing mm -hmm. there's new believing that comes along with that and then therefore there's new living say new living, new living. that comes along with worshiping the holy ghost acts chapter 10 34 then Peter opened his mouth and said of a truth I perceive that God is no respecter of persons verse 35 but in every nation he that fears him him who him God he that fears God and works righteousness is accepted with him is this true yes. does this apply to every nation on the face of the earth yes. Yes, yeah, so if you fear him, and of course we know that that word fear is often translated worship. Mm -hmm. Sometimes fear, sometimes worship, but it means to worship. So whoever worships God, say worships God, worships God. and works righteousness, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Works righteousness is accepted with him, mm -hmm. meaning he accepts them. So he accepts the worship and he accepts the working of the righteousness and if he accepts you that means you advance mm -hmm. say I advance. I advance I go forward I'm promoted so attached to worshiping God and working righteousness is promotion mm -hmm. say that attached, attached. To, worshiping to worshiping God and working righteousness, and working righteousness is promotion, is promotion. Romans chapter 10 verse 6 but the righteousness which is of faith right yes. remember they worked righteousness mm -hmm. they worshiped God and worked righteousness the righteousness which is of faith speaks so if we're gonna be working righteousness what are we gonna be doing speaking. we're gonna be speaking mm -hmm. right we're gonna worship God and speak some things let's see what we say and what we don't say but the righteousness which is of faith speaks on this wise say not in thy heart who shall ascend into heaven that is to bring Christ down from above or who shall descend into the deep that is to bring Christ up again from the dead a lot of people don't know what that means but it basically means don't say Jesus come down and do something for me or Jesus you have to be raised again from the dead for me it doesn't say that verse 8 but what saith it the word so the righteousness of faith says the word if i'm working righteousness i'm going to be saying the word mm -hmm. is this too difficult mm -hmm. 
so if I want to be accepted or advanced or promoted by God I'm gonna be worshiping him and speaking the word is that too much of a jump no. seems like that's a pretty complete package and worship God and I speak his words mm -hmm. right yes. I'm working the righteousness of faith says he accepts me mm -hmm. he advances me he promotes me so attached to worshiping God the Holy Ghost and speaking in agreement with his word we're advanced and we're also promoted is this any good what if I get good at that can you get better at worshiping God yes. yeah can you get better at speaking in agreement with his word mm -hmm. working righteousness yeah what happens when you get better at it promoted advanced mm -hmm. you go forward well God the Holy Ghost hears those words and takes an active interest in your situation what words when I worship him and I speak in agreement with his word he takes an active interest in my situation say in my situation, my situation. why in your situation because you're the one that's going to be advanced mm -hmm. say I'm advanced. I'm advanced there is nothing that can thwart his word spoken in faith in your life thwart meaning prevent from coming to pass this is how God does things second Chronicles 16 verse 9 for the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole heaven no. is that what it says no. who must we be talking about then the Holy Ghost the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth where are you in the earth, in the earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him what does he accept worship and speaking in agreement with his word if your heart's going to be perfect towards him you're going to be worshiping him and speaking in agreement with his word is this good yeah. yes, it is. well it says then he's gonna show himself strong on your behalf we're talking about advancement we're talking about promotion we know that what he accepts is worship and speaking righteousness mm -hmm. proverbs 10 22 the blessing of the lord makes rich mm -hmm. and he adds no sorrow with it the blessing of the lord makes you rich mm -hmm. a lot of people have a problem with this but if we break it down because of what i'm talking about rich can mean to become something to make gains to progress which could be monetarily you understand that right making progress the blessing of the lord makes rich the blessing of the lord makes rich say i'm made, I'm made rich, rich. He didn't make you poor God didn't make anybody poor you're not designed to be poor you're designed to be made rich you weren't made for poverty poverty kills you weren't made for poverty you were made for promotion we go from glory to glory which is going ahead the blessing of the Lord makes you go ahead are you getting this yes. the blessing of the Lord makes you rich promotes you advances you say promotes me, promotes me. advances me. Advances me what does the blessing of the Lord well oh good let's look at what a blessing is are you all right with this yes. if we want to be promoted we need the blessing of the Lord because that's what the word says mm -hmm. right do you want to be promoted do you want to be advanced do you want to be rich you weren't made for poverty you weren't made for going backwards you were made for advancement mm -hmm. and he made you rich mm -hmm. so the blessing of the Lord the blessing of say the blessing of, the blessing of. so we have picture this the Lord blessing someone mm -hmm. right 
the act of that doing that makes that person rich and if you are that person say I am that person, am that person. then him blessing you makes you something mm -hmm. does that make sense yes. so the blessing what is a blessing a blessing is literally a declaration over or a speaking over or a saying something over the saying something over of the Lord the saying something over you of the Lord makes you something whatever that thing is that he said are you seeing this and there's power in every word of God to bring itself to pass if it's said over you it does no good to have all these promises even this one the blessing of the Lord makes rich he has no sorrow with it just sitting in a Bible somewhere it has to be said over mm -hmm. say it has to be said over, it has to be said over. who's the one that does the saying over we do but let's look at this a little closer the blessing of the Lord let's go to Genesis people think of the blessing being some weird spiritual thing mm -hmm. but it's not it's literally declaring over say declaring over, declaring over. And who did the original declaring over God did right then we have to as we know speak in agreement with him Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 and God blessed them and said unto them be fruitful and multiply mm -hmm. so the blessing is saying something mm -hmm. right we can see this all throughout the scriptures the patriarchs blessing their children it but was by decreeing and saying something over them say saying something, saying something. over them over the blessing of the Lord makes rich mm -hmm. what makes rich the blessing the saying of the thing over you makes you something that you weren't before you getting this all right Genesis chapter 12 verse 2 and I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing how's God blessing Abraham by saying things over him how does God do anything he does it by saying and speaking and decreeing his word That's right. go to chapter 13 let's see what that blessing did for Abraham Genesis chapter 13 verse 2 and Abraham was very rich in cattle in silver and in gold mm -hmm. what made Abram rich the blessing what is the blessing but saying something over Abraham are you getting this yes. all right so God said some things to and about Abraham and he became wealthy and we see that the blessing of the Lord makes rich right mm -hmm. Galatians chapter 3 verse 9 so then they which are of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham the same blessing say the same blessing. same blessing meaning he said the same thing about you that he said about Abraham yes. and Abraham became rich mm -hmm. right yes. why because of the things that were said because of the blessing the things that were said by God about him now if you go back and look at Abraham he had to eventually start saying the things that God said about him it's the same thing we have to do today we have to start saying that I am blessed right yes. and the blessing of the Lord makes me rich when I do that I'm working the righteousness of faith and here it says they that are of faith are blessed mm -hmm. they that are of the righteousness of faith are blessed mm -hmm. they that will open up their mouth and speak in faith that they're blessed are blessed how are you blessed by speaking in faith what God has said so agreement with the blessing makes you 
say agreement, agreement. With, the with the blessing makes me makes you what makes you blessed mm -hmm. but you have to agree with it mm -hmm. now God the Holy Ghost looks with extreme favor upon his word I mean he's all right with the things you say about you that are in line with his word but he looks with extreme favor on his word mm -hmm. Psalms 138 verse 2 I will worship towards thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth for thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name he has magnified or exalted his word above all his name so he puts extreme favor and he looks with extreme favor upon his word and if you're saying his word extreme favor comes with it and you hear that extreme favor so if I'm speaking in agreement with his word is he gonna favor me over the guy next to me who's not speaking in agreement with his word yeah, yeah who's gonna get promoted me right. now I want you to see this other thing here let's read this again I will worship towards thy holy temple who's the temple of the Lord we, we, are. we are today the Holy Ghost lives in you mm -hmm. you are the temple of God I will worship we see that him speaking his word he has extreme favor with it but there's another set of words that he looks with extreme favor upon and those are words of worship mm -hmm. I worship you Holy Ghost using those words he will do things for you that he won't do for other people that's what favor means you favor this one over that one this one's worshiping you and speaking in agreement with your word mm -hmm. this one isn't worshiping you and then isn't speaking in agreement with your word which one's going to have more favor which one's going to advance mm -hmm. the one worshiping him and speaking so when you use the words i worship you holy ghost he does things for you that he won't do for anyone else worship is the ultimate response to God's Word imagine if you were presented with the voice of God speaking to you you understand we're not trying to seek voices but if God spoke an audible word to you what would the response be we've seen it in the Bible over and over again what do these people do they fall down and worship him it's the ultimate response to the Word of God coming to you is worshiping him mm -hmm. you can see why it connects these two things worship and working righteousness in faith mm -hmm. so God speaks the best response of us is to worship him mm -hmm. what about the word what about it is written I mean a lot of people would you know, wouldn't take it that way just assume okay that this is the word and it's it's audible and it says something to me what should my response be worship. worship worship who worship the one that said that word they go together it's the ultimate response is this making sense yes. has he said anything that's the, all of this he said the the best response to that is not only to say it but to worship him mm -hmm. are you getting this Luke chapter 4 verse 8 uh, and Jesus answered and said unto him get thee behind me Satan for it is written mm -hmm. for it is written thou shalt worship the Lord thy God it is written thou shalt worship mm -hmm. are you getting this yes. are those words in your Bible Oh, you're taking them out of context no I'm putting them in context mm -hmm. it is written and thou shalt worship mm -hmm. how did you come to worship God in the first place if you do because it is written led you there mm -hmm. well let's look and see if there's any benefit to the, do you suppose there's any benefit yeah. just knowing what you know is there any benefit to worshiping God and saying it is written yeah that's how we're promoted you still here mm -hmm. Luke chapter 4 verse 5 
And the devil taking him, Jesus, up into a high mountain and showed unto him all the kingdoms, say all the kingdoms, of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, now you need to be careful when the devil starts talking because he's a liar. He's the father of lies. I purport to you that he can't say anything without somehow injecting some kind of a lie in there or twisting it. Mm -hmm. Are you here? Yes. Personified liars believe their lies, but they're still liars. Yes. The devil said unto him, all this power will I give thee and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me and to whomsoever I will give it. If thou wilt, what? Worship me, all will be thine. Where did the devil get this concept? Of transferring ownership and power and kingdoms to someone through the vehicle of worship. Is he just making it up? No, he's trying to be like God. Are you getting this? Yes. Well, I find it curious that Jesus corrected not the part about the kingdom and the glory but about who you were going to worship to get it mm -hmm. Jesus answered and said unto him the devil get thee behind these me Satan for it is written thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shall thou serve he didn't correct the part about the kingdoms being given and the glory and the power of them all are you here he corrected him about who you should worship let me just prove to you that the devil himself knew he was lying when he said this go to job chapter 1 job chapter 1 verse 9 then satan answered the lord and said doth job fear god for naught and we know the word fear here in fact in some of the translations right in the middle of your bible it'll say worship does job worship god for nothing read on hast not thou made and hedge about him and about his house and about all that he has on every side thou hast what's that word thou hast blessed the work of his hands and his substance is increased in the land has job worshiped you for nothing was job worshiping god for nothing no because embedded in worshiping him god gave him all this stuff god blessed him yes. who knew this satan the devil the same devil that was trying to trick jesus oh, i'll give you all this stuff when he, are you here yes. who gives the stuff when you worship him god does that's what jesus corrected the devil over not that stuff isn't given as you can see here stuff was given through worship mm -hmm. but not through worshiping the devil mm -hmm. through worshiping god all right thou hast blessed so attached to the worshiping of god are things mm -hmm. you know some people hate me for saying that but attached to the worship of god are things what things everything that god can give you the whole, the kingdom and the glory and the power all the kingdoms mm -hmm. all right thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only shalt thou serve so do you suppose jesus did this just jesus just talking stuff or is, was he actually a worshiper of the lord his god and him only does he serve mm -hmm. well we should be able to see then that if he was doing that that there would be some results in Jesus's life right where are you uh, Luke chapter 4 verse 8 he says thou shalt worship the Lord thy God him only shalt thou serve remember up in verse 6 the devil said I'll give all this power and the glory right mm -hmm. whoever if you'll worship me all shall be thine mm -hmm. Jesus corrected him saying I'm not worshiping you I'll worship the Lord your God go down to verse 14 
And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee, and there went out a what? A fame of him. Where? Throughout all, say all, all, the region round about. And at that time, that was a kingdom. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes. The devil said if you'd worship him, he'd give you the fame mm -hmm. of the kingdom. Here Jesus said, no, worship the Lord your God. Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee, and there went out a fame of him throughout all the regions round about. Luke chapter 4, verse 37. And the fame of him went out into every place of the country round about. Mm -hmm. Fame is a type of glory, and often with fame comes, well, people and finance, all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. He had a treasurer. Mm -hmm. What is going on here? Jesus worshiping the Lord is God. The kingdom is being given to him and the glory of it. Are you seeing this? Yes. So, attached to the worship of God are things, which includes the kingdoms and the glory of them. So when I worship the Holy Ghost, I'm being given the kingdom. Say, when I worship the Holy Ghost, when I, worship the Holy Ghost I, am being I am being given, given the, kingdom. the kingdom. I become... A Holy Ghost worshiper and he gives me things the Holy Ghost worshiper is someone he gives things to Are you seeing this I hope I got you here it's because you want to be the one that he's giving things to what things you say things of the kingdom or the whole kingdom he didn't say part he said all the kingdom and all the glory thereof not corrected by Jesus he said who you get it from mm -hmm. all right you know how much of a revelation that is to people that they've never heard that before the fact is when we worship God the Holy Ghost he gives us things because we're favored by him and when he gives us those things we're promoted mm -hmm. when this happens when what happens when you worship the Holy Ghost and he gives you things mm -hmm. The kingdoms and the glory are you here yes. then you change the world you affect the world your worship affects the world and the kingdoms are you getting this yes. it certainly affects your world and your kingdom mm -hmm. but it affects more than that did Jesus begin to affect the kingdom I mean, he totally turned that kingdom on its head. So you change the world when you worship the Holy Ghost. Kingdoms change. Say, when I worship the Holy Ghost, when I worship the Holy Ghost kingdoms, kingdoms, change. kingdoms change. Certainly your kingdom, but it goes well beyond that. What if I told you that there are things that you need and must have in order to fulfill what you're called to fulfill in your lifetime that only come through the vehicle of worship worshiping the Lord your God and him only serving what if I told you that there are things that only come through that things that you must have say must have, must have. in order to fulfill what you're called to fulfill in this last day and the church must have these things say these things. these things things of the kingdom that are not revealed to people who don't worship the Holy Ghost I hope I got you here there is a promotion that you can have through the vehicle of worshiping the Holy Ghost can you see that now yes. and speaking in agreement with his word they go together and it's a promotion that you can't have any other way it's not available to you without it you know and, and God God speaks to us oftentimes in things that we understand he said to me he said it matters what hangar you're in just thinking about airplanes it matters what hangar you're in different hangars have different airplanes in them you understand 
some go fast some go slow some won't go where you need to go you got to be in the right hangar if you're not in the hangar where they're worshiping the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today and speaking in agreement with his word you can't go there you're in the wrong hangar it matters what hangar you're in and a lot of people say what camp you're in a lot of camps would kick you out for doing what we're talking about tonight and believing that God's gonna give you a kingdom say God's gonna give me a kingdom, God's gonna give me a kingdom. by worshiping him by and speaking in agreement, in agreement with his word because the blessing makes you it makes you something you weren't before and when you worship the Holy Ghost it leads you to a new manifestation of him in your life can you agree to this yes. can you see this mm -hmm. when you worship the Holy Ghost it leads you to a new manifestation of him in your life so I encourage you to worship him every day and let him reveal himself and show himself strong on your behalf as you worship him and speak in agreement with his word let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you these people are blessed and the blessing is resting on them and making them rich and as they worship you I ask you to give them the kingdom like you've said in your word we thank you for it in Jesus name amen, amen.